Good evening. I'm Jonah Cummings from the CMY Lyme and Tick-Borne Disease Alliance, and I'm here today with Alana Kirsch. Thanks for joining me today, Alana. Thank you for having me. So I understand that you are conducting some research. Tell me, what is it specifically that you're doing? I'm enrolled in a program at my high school called Science Research. And so basically in your sophomore year, you reach out, well, you pick, first you pick a topic. So I picked Lyme disease, obviously. And so you find a specific like realm in your topic and you find an area that, you know, is lacking research. And so then you begin to reach out to, you know, researchers, professors, and people who can help connect you and put you in a place in which you can conduct research. And so I reached out to a lot of people at the Columbia Lyme and Tick Clinic just because they were doing a lot of research that I was interested in. And so um, Dr. Kelp emailed me back and he agreed to work with me. And so basically I'm conducting a study. It's loosely based off an article or a study that he was involved in. And basically we're gonna be looking at the symptoms that contribute most strongly to decreased quality of life and low short form 36 scores of patients with post-treatment Lyme disease syndrome. And I'm also gonna be comparing those short form 36 scores to other illnesses like multiple sclerosis and chronic fatigue syndrome. And that's something I've already started doing and just like for a little glimpse on that, it's very interesting to see how impaired the quality of life in patients with chronic Lyme disease actually is. And putting it into context with other illnesses, it's such an important thing to do because so many people don't realize how detrimental this can be to someone's quality of life. I mean, it truly is a debilitating illness and so similar to those other things you were talking about with MS and fibromyalgia and chronic fatigue syndrome. There's a lot of links that I think what you're doing can lead to a lot of just a better understanding of it overall. But what has inspired you, especially at such a young age, to become so passionate about helping others fight this disease and join the fight yourself to eradicate the horrible effects of Lyme disease? So when I was, I wanna say 10 or 11, I was diagnosed with Lyme disease and I was attending sleepaway camp and I was just, you know, never been really like active. I mean, I've never been athletic or anything like that. And I started having this horrible leg pain. And it was just something that I'd never felt or experienced in my whole entire life. And so I was going to the infirmary in my camp every single day. And they kept telling me, oh, here's Advil, here's this, whatever, all these random pain medications. And obviously nothing was helping. And, you know, it had gotten to the point where I could barely stand. I was in so much pain. And I remember, like, seeing black so many times and just having headaches. And I had a really high fever at one point in the summer. And so by the end of the summer, I had actually gotten the bullseye. But um, no one knew what it was. I mean, I was 10, so I had no idea what it was. And um, I went to the infirmary, and they said, you know, we don't know what it is, but it's 100% not Lyme. So we just left it alone for the rest of the summer. And when I came home, I went to the doctor and they said, you know, we don't have to, we don't even have to test you. It's 100% Lyme. They tested me anyway, and it came back positive. But so for me, that was just something that, you know, I went all that time being in so much pain and feeling so off and just for no one to be able to recognize it, even in Pennsylvania where Lyme is so prevalent and like ticks are so prevalent. It was just something that, you know, it's very, like it made me very angry to see that so many people didn't understand the symptoms and how detrimental it really can be. So that's kind of what led me to, you know, where I am now, my research now. Well, that is so impressive and to hear about all this work that you're already doing and plan to do for those affected by this illness. So thank you so much for sharing. Of course.